morning, my beautiful internet friends. Welcome to a day in the life of an amputee with chronic pain and three dogs and two cats, that was perfect timing, Cakes, who works from home. A lot of you guys have requested a day in the life video and I wanted to deliver it to you today. Hey. I felt like today would be a good day to do this video because plants have already changed this morning due to a migraine that I worked up with, woke up with, I can't talk. Plants have already changed today due to a migraine that I woke up with at 6 a.m. I was supposed to go to a Toastmasters meeting, which is like a public speaking thing, but I woke up and I was in a lot a lot of pain and so I moved from up here to downstairs and that is where we're actually gonna start this video so come along with me for a day in the life so when I wake up and I am in a lot of pain already I will always come downstairs to this couch for one reason there are blackout curtains right there that allow me to sleep without any light coming in and hurting my head I stumble my way down here I turn on this heating pad as it helps with my migraines and then I will take all the medications I'm allowed to take to try to knock it out so I actually have a chance at being able to work today and get things done So Brian introduced me to this podcast called The Journal. I think it's put on by The Wall Street Journal. And I've been really enjoying listening to it and learning a little bit more about what's happening outside my front door and around the world. So I'm gonna turn this on this morning as I eat my breakfast. Every morning I am joined by my puppies in a sea of blankets. They've been loving the snow outside. We've gotten it for a couple days and so they'll just frolic and play in the snow. You trying to sneak my muffins, huh? I see you. I see you. Okay, so now that I'm actually dressed for the day, here's the point where I always toss up if I'm gonna like do my face and makeup and hair and things like that. It depends on how I feel. I still feel like I'm in a migraine fog, but I do wanna get some work done today. And I find that it helps me really focus sometimes if I feel like I'm actually preparing for a day regardless of how I feel. Now on a side note, if I felt like the rest of the day was gonna end in migraine, I would not do my face or hair or anything because I'm just gonna be spending it laying down. I am gonna go ahead and do it today. I'm thinking I might be able to break through this fog and actually get some stuff done and we'll see. Now you may notice that I did indeed take my prosthetic leg off. Like you guys know, it's been having some issues and it started acting up again. I was like, this is not worth it. So I'm gonna balance here and then grab a cool new pair of crutches. After standing up for a solid 10 minutes, my head is spinning, so I am gonna lay down for just a few minutes before I continue on with my day. But I feel a little bit more fresh and put together, which is helpful even if I'm just staying home alone by myself. This is Lewis, my great move. All right. I think I'm ready to rock and roll for another hour or two. As I continue about my day here, I would like to introduce you to Mobility Design, who is our sponsor. These are their MD crutch, and I've been using them in the last couple days, and it's actually been really cool. Now, I first of all, I just wanna say, I feel like I'm like piloting some kind of cool ship, you know? Maybe not, but Mobility Design sent these to me to share with you guys, and I wanted to point out a couple things that I think are actually really cool. If you know anything about me or my channel, you know that I've been on and off crutches my entire life, and it's really important to me at this point, knowing what options are out there, because for the first 14 years of my experience with life on crutches, I just use underarm crutches, and that was fine, but also there are better options out there depending on your body type and your strength level. One of the first things I noticed when trying these out is I felt a lot more stable moving around. My elbows tight to my body, Body, I felt a lot more supported and stable moving around not like I was just gonna tip over and I really appreciate that It also distributes your weight differently So instead of all your weight coming down to your wrists like with normal underarm crutches It's supported with more of your frame now This is gonna utilize different muscles which can be a good option if you want to switch out crutches Or it can just be a good option in general as it uses a lot of your core to move and I like that another thing That's really cool about these is that they actually have a release like this. So it makes it really easy to reach up and grab something without having to get out of your crutch. And the same goes for the handles here. You just press a button, put them down, your hands are free. 
pull them back up and they lock into place. If you've heard me talk about arm cups for crutches before, you know this is kind of a personal pet peeve of mine. A lot of them don't really hold your forearm or hold your wrist and I, that feels very unsafe to me and these really hold it comfortably without being too tight. A huge thank you to our sponsor, Mobility Design. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and allowing me to share your product, the MD Crutch. If you are interested in checking these out, check out the link in the description down below. They've been really great to work with, easy to communicate with. So if you have any questions, hit them up. Also, there is an instructional video on how to set these up and how to actually adjust them for your specific body type and height and all of that, which I will also link down below. And with that, let's return to our day. That's way too fun to do. So one of the biggest questions I've had here on my channel is what I do for work as someone who deals with chronic pain because the reality of life with chronic pain, which is primarily in my neck and my shoulders, is that it makes it so that you're pretty unreliable and jobs usually like it if you're reliable. For instance, this morning I had a cardiology appointment that I was supposed to get to and then that migraine hit, which I get quite often and I wasn't able to go. This is something that had been scheduled for three weeks and I have to wait another three weeks for it and that's a huge bummer, but also there's nothing that I can do about it. So it's one of those situations where I make sure I'm awake long enough to call and let them know what's going on and apologize that I won't be there because I am literally incapable of getting up and just roll with the punches. So what I actually do for work is I work in software development. I don't do programming myself, but I work with clients. I do that and then I also do YouTube as much as I do it. I found this job in particular through a friend of mine. Her husband owns a company. We've known him for quite some time and he had a position that would allow me to work from home, that the hours were flexible. I just need to get stuff done essentially by the end of the week. Week. So if I have a bad day, I can switch around some of my hours and it was really a perfect fit. I'm really grateful for it. I feel like living with chronic pain is this funny little juggling act where you prioritize what you absolutely have to and the rest may or may not get done. And that can be really frustrating. I have days where that drives me insane because all I wanna do is get back to the people I need to get back to and check the boxes I have to do and accomplish things I wanna do. And there are some days where my body's like, nope, that's just not gonna happen, like this morning. And right now I'm a little bit in a, in a haze and a fog and I'm not gonna be able to do super high level cognitive activities at my job right now. I'm gonna be able to do the minimum. I'm gonna be able to do things that don't require me to think really heavily or deal with numbers or have intense conversations. And so did Days a day, I just have to scale back a little bit, and that's okay. So it's been about an hour and a half of work up here. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer downstairs. My downstairs living room is the only place that can get really, really dark in my house during the day, and so I'm gonna transfer my computer down there, get horizontal to continue work. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Do you see? Do you see what I have to deal with? It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Ah! So like I was talking about a little while ago, one of the weirdest things about living life with chronic pain and migraines is that it is really unpredictable. Because for instance, today I'm not getting a lot done and this might not be the world's most exciting vlog, but at least it's honest. But there are other days where I wake up and I feel pretty decent. I don't have to take much medication, if any. I'm able to focus, I get stuff done, I'm able to go places, interact with people, be on, film videos, in the light, like all of that. I have days like that. And then I have days like this, and then I have days that are way worse. It's very variable and I never know when it's coming or when it's not, and so I just do the best I can to take care of myself on the days of it and it isn't super awesome, like today. It is now approaching one o'clock and I think it is time for the next dose of medication for my migraine as it continues to creep around in the background. I was able to get some good work done, which I'm really proud of myself and happy for. I'm gonna rest for a little while and then hopefully dive back into it. No, 3.30, 3 o'clock, 3.30 in the afternoon. And I am finally, I don't know, maybe coming out of the haze. I've got my computer up here. I'm making some lunch. I'm trying to refocus, get some stuff done. Let's get to it. We have now reached the point in the story where I become very productive to try to make up for lost time as my brain is finally working the right way. Great news, guys. 
I think I'm ready to put my leg back on and return to uh, life as a bipedal human being, even if half of me is robotic. And now, my beautiful friends, it is time to make my afternoon French press coffee. Decaf, because I'm trying to cut back on the caffeine, but still, it's delicious. So something that Brian and I occasionally get to do after our work days is go work somewhere else, like a coffee shop or somewhere similar, and that's what we're gonna go do right now. It gives us both an opportunity to catch up on things. Work is never really done, done. Um, and Brian is studying for this crazy huge test. And so our days usually go really late, depending on how my body has treated me that day, how things have gone, what I've gotten done, what I've not gotten done, but I've got a couple hours to go still. And so it's really nice to get out of the house and spend some time together. Even if we're not technically interacting, we still get to work alongside one another. day is done guys I went to that coffee shop and we got like three hours of work done I feel like my day actually added up to something and I accomplished something now it is time to take my leg off relax on the couch with my husband and then go to bed and I'm hoping tomorrow will be a great day I've got a number of meetings I've got stuff to do I'm feeling good right now I'm feeling energized we'll see what happens tomorrow morning oh <sighs> welcome to the next day I was gonna end the video last night and just make it like a full day you know in the life but I wanted to let you guys know that the next day is going wonderfully I've gone to two work meetings I'm out and about doing things I've been super productive and checking items off my to-do list for work and I feel great I feel really good actually and so I wanted to end on a, on a happier note where I'm actually out and about doing things. It's weird how variable all of this is because some days I can barely do anything. I can't think straight. I can't barely move. And then other days I'm pretty sure I could take on the entire world and win. Um, today is one of the latter days and I hope that the energy and lack of pain continues. A huge thank you goes out to our sponsor again, Mobility Designed. Thank you for sponsoring this video. All links are in the description down below. A huge thank you to all of my patrons over on Patreon as well for allowing me to do what I do here. And last but certainly not least thank you for spending a few minutes out of your day here with me you could be anywhere in the world doing anything and you chose to learn a little bit more about a day in my life and i really appreciate that thank you i love you guys i'm thinking about you and i will see you in the next video bye guys Hand her from the sky,